All right, thank you very much. Now let's go over to Spartanburg, where there is a front mm -hmm. moving into town, and it's calling for nothing but Panthers pride. WYFF News Force Mike McCormick has the proof, and what's in store for the future of the training camp? From businesses to a hospital, the beacon to a bank. Go Cam. Spartanburg is a hub for a major case of Panthers pride. They're they're helping Spartanburg. Amy Harper, Nicole Buchanan, and the rest of the team at Carolina Alliance Bank used Casual Friday to show some serious spirit, jewelry included. We consider ourselves a very true community bank, and we we love it when. Um, People like the Panthers can come and be a part of our community. The team is banking on the best facilities around, and Wofford College spent the day making that happen. Great energy. People are excited. I mean, they came off a great year last year. The camp's been on this campus for 20 years. Hard to believe. It seems like yesterday was year one. Richard Johnson, director of athletics, says this is the last year in their contract with the team. We're down 11 teams in the NFL out of 32 that uh, train off site. So. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to help uh, Spartanburg keep uh, a piece of this franchise. He says the discussion will be ongoing. Probably just be an extension at least for a year and, and keep talking about that. So the more fans at this year's camp, the better. I hope Spartanburg doesn't take this for granted because we're very fortunate to have it. Go Panthers. And if you want to stay on the ball in terms of what's going on at training camp right there at Wofford, look for the schedule in the on TV section of WIFF4.com. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4 in Spartanburg.